Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're in the F-22 today, and in front of me is the massive Lockheed CL-1201. This was a giant 6,000-ton nuclear-powered transport aircraft, intended to be almost an aircraft carrier of sorts, a flying aircraft carrier, if you will. Uh, this thing's got an amazing 340-meter wingspan. That's uh, 1,100 feet for you Americans out there. This thing is absolutely massive. And uh, today we're gonna be taking on uh, a swarm of North Korean MiG-29s. So there is a massive swarm of North Korean MiG-29s coming over, over here. Way too much for me to deal with. Look at the size of this sentry, by the way, next to uh, this CL-1201. Like, that thing is an E-3 sentry. Like, that's not a small aircraft. And next to that thing, it, it doesn't look that big at all. Uh, it really puts into perspective the size of this giant behemoth and what it would have been. Um, so there, anyway, there's way too many MiG-29s coming over here, North Korean MiG-29s for me to handle, even in my F-22. Uh, so that thing is going to drop some X-47 drones that are going to help me out. At least that's the plan. Now, I know this thing kind of looks like it's out of ace combat, and in a lot of ways it kind of is. But this was like a real concept that they actually looked at making. Uh, and from my understanding, this thing can stay airborne for a very long time. Uh, I think even up to 41 days. 41 days of this thing just airborne, flying around, you know, basically a flying aircraft carrier. You know, just dropping F-22s out of the back and like drones and F-35s and whatever, <laughs> whatever this thing could deploy. Just the thought of that is, is wild. Okay, let's, let's turn off here. <laughs> and find these MiG-29s and get this show on the road. Uh, I imagine that they've seen that giant thing on radar and are coming over here anytime now. All right, well, hopefully he starts dropping some drones to come help me out because I can't do this all by myself. He definitely kind of needs some help. These North Korean guys are off the nose. Oh, the boys are here. Look at that. Those are the X-47 drones. We did a video with these not long ago. Uh, autonomous drones that will assist me in air-to-air -air combat. So that'll be pretty cool. Uh, looks like there's four, four more over there. So maybe like a total of eight of these guys. Uh, that should be good. That should be enough. Alright, and so you know what I'll actually do is once we get a little closer to these uh, bandits coming in, I'll get some separation and I'll let these guys take the lead and they can sling their AMRAMs and then I will uh, I'll come in from behind and clean up whatever survives this volley of AMRAMs that these guys are going to unleash. Alright, these guys basically are, like, they saw something off the nose here, so they're kind of just doing their own thing now. Uh, taking off. 
splitting into formations and whatever. This is all autonomous action. I don't have any control over what these guys are gonna do. But when they start launching their Amram volley into the swarm of MiG-29s coming over here, it's kind of gonna look like uh, like those medieval armies when like two armies would come and like one of them would launch arrows, like hundreds of arrows, and the arrows would just start smoking guys before they even clash, you know? And then there'll be a clash and I think in the clash and the merge, that's gonna be my job. That's where I'm gonna have to come in with the F-22 and clean up. Um, but, you know, maybe we'll lose a couple of drones, but no big deal, it's just a few million bucks, <laughs> right? <laughs> Don't worry about the national debt. It's only a few million bucks, guys. Nothing uh, that the taxpayer can't cover. Better than a dead pilot, I think, right? Right, you gotta look at it like that. Silver linings, you know? Uh, <laughs> in terms of the development cost of these X-47Bs, I think they're up to like 1.5 to $2 billion now. That's not per unit cost, of course. That's research development and everything. Um, but the unit cost is probably not nothing. You know, this is not a $20,000 drone. Um, so if it gets shot down, you know, it is kind of a hit to the budget, but nothing crazy. Um, but I don't suspect that'll be a problem here today. Looks like we're slowly getting into range here, I think, maybe, pretty soon. There's at least two guys here that have taken the lead. And there we go, we got the rest of them. So they've kind of spread themselves out. It looks like they've done uh, some sort of tactical formation. Uh, broke up into two different elements of four. And there we go, we got Amrams. I see Amrams flying. There we go. Oof, it's gonna be a rough day to be on the other side of that. <laughs> There's a lot of AMRAMs coming out right now. Even if they do nothing other than just launch a volley of AMRAMs, that's pretty wild. That's still pretty devastating. See, the funny thing is that those make 29s in the distance there, you can just sort of make them out. They have no idea there's anything even over here. They, they probably can't see anything on radar. They can't see me for sure. They can't see the drones. They're also stealth. Look at them. They're defending right now. So the Amrams have gone pit bull on them. <laughs> they're all breaking away out of formation. Look at this. Just wait. Those Amrams, you're just going to start seeing these guys pop as Amrams start making contact. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go, there's the first one. Oh, that guy got hit twice. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh boy. A rough day to be those guys, huh? Oh yeah, there we go. It's like fireworks. Just massive fireworks. Look at that. So many guys are getting splashed over there. <laughs> oh my god.
I would assume that a large amount of those guys got splashed. Although I did see a formation off to my left here who seems like they didn't hit by, get hit by anything. Um, so anyway, we'll focus on the guys who went to my right first because I saw a group of three go to my right. Okay, here we go. Got them locked up. Uh, Fox three for me. Alright, turning around now, splash those three guys. One guy got away, uh, he'll get into a merge. I'm sure those drones will make quick work of him. Uh, off in front, we're being locked by something. I see a bunch of guys flying around. Here we go, Hostile Bandit, 8 miles. He's a little cold, so I don't want to shoot at him yet. And there we go, it's a friendly. When you see the box with the X, that's a friendly. Another friendly, these are the drones. There we go, there's a hostile six miles off the nose. Once again, because he's cold, I don't want to just instantly shoot. Uh, looks like up high, that's a drone. Okay, got this guy locked, Fox 3. So Fox 3 on that bandit on the left. And let me get this guy right here, here we go. Another one, four miles, Fox 3 on this guy as well. Okay, third bandit in front of me. He's still cold. I can't shoot him. And there's another one behind me too. So I gotta kill this guy quickly and turn around before the guy behind me sees me and shoots me. Uh, this guy's turning into me at four miles, so that's perfect. Um, Fox three for me, and it looks like he fired a missile. So we'll flare and there we go, and splash one. There we go. Okay, that's another drone up high. All right, where's that other guy behind me somewhere? Alright, uh, he should be... Oh, there's some contrails up here. That looks like a furball. Doesn't it? That guy's merged with a bunch of drones. Yeah, there we go. Got him locked. That's him for sure. And you can see three contrails converging on him. <laughs> oh, are they shooting him? Oh, they are. Those drones have guns? <laughs> oh my god. Imagine being that guy and just looking back and seeing like Terminator drones just shooting at you. <laughs> I obviously can't shoot him because he's in the sun. So I can't give him a 9x. There we go. Look at that. The drones look like they messed him up pretty good. He's smoking. They identified him as dead. So they're not attacking him anymore, but he's still flying. Fox 2. And splash 1. That's it for me. That's everybody. Let's get out of here. That's a solid day's work.